Most commonly, the tokens, tickets, and one-time passwords are used in a two-factor authentication scenario. What you would normally see is the type 2 or the token device would be one factor in the multi-factor authentication scenario. Then you would also be asked to provide something else. Now the idea behind this is that if someone steals your token device, then that user or the person who has stolen your token device could access the system unless you combine it with another factor of authentication. So let's say that you have a token device and we use a token type 2 plus type 1 authentication. What that would mean would be you would have to provide the password for the token as well as your own password that you've remembered. The probability that someone has stolen your token and stolen your password is far lower than just stealing the token. As with type 1 authentication, there are some issues with type 2 also. First off, clearly it's more complex. A lot more work to administering these tokens. Every time a new user wants access to the system, you have to create or acquire a new token, make sure it is synchronized, or if you're using asynchronous authentication, then the token owner must be entered into the central server. Then you must physically distribute the token out to the new user. If it's a person that doesn't live or work in the same office, you have to ship it to them somehow. And of course, there are problems with shipping. I recently received a secure ID card in the mail. It had been damaged. So I had to call the provider and ask for a new card. And until that new card arrived, I still couldn't access the server. So it may cause some delays, which may or may not be very important. It also requires the user possess the token device. Not only must the user possess it once, but the user must possess it every single time he or she wants to access the devices. If you lose the token, you temporarily lose access. In the case of my secure ID card that was shipped to me, I didn't lose the token, but since it was damaged and I could not read the display, I had no access to the central server. Same thing, if I happen to lose the token at any time in the future, until the vendor ships me a new one, I cannot access their central server.